Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt with the Pool Biz Growth Channel, and I just wanted to show you something. See that tablet floater that's nice and new and floating around here in the pool? That might seem like a, a really good thing, but actually what we need to do is we need to tie this down. So next week I'm gonna come back here with some paracord, and I'm gonna tie it right there. I have a plug in to where they, um, once upon a time, had a um, you know a pressure side cleaner, so I'm going to tie it to that with some paracord. There's actually a hole right there on top of that thing, and uh, I'm going to secure it down. Now, why do we want to secure this so it doesn't float freely around the pool? That is why we want to protect our steps. You see, trichlor has about a 2.9 on the pH scale, which is very acidic. So if it was to sit here on the top step for any period of time, what would happen is we would start digging a hole right there in that top step. It would start eating away at that plaster. As you can tell, this plaster is in really good shape. This is an indoor pool that I picked up not too long ago on my route. I would like to pressure wash this deck because it's a, it's a little calcified, but being indoors, that might be problematic. But again, we have steps on this side as well and we need to be careful with these top steps and careful of the plaster. We gotta watch this pH. So again, we just added this tablet floater in. I'm gonna be securing this so it doesn't stay on top of the top step and do damage. So that's my tip of the day, guys. Just uh, keep those trichlor floaters, those erosion floaters, keep them secured away from anything that they can do damage to. Anyway, God bless. Keep taking care of those pools, guys.